Hello, my name is Colin Riddington and I'm here to tell you about my Access Example application which uses Google Translate and Text-to-Speech. Now the main form here shows you how this works. On the left hand side we enter some text in English or any other language that you choose to use. There are up to 109 languages available using Google Translate. And then on the right hand side choose a language and it instantly will translate to that language. You can then translate to further languages, swap from left to right side, basically just like Google Translate works. In addition you can then click the speak button to speak the language in any installed voice for the language that you've actually chosen. Text-to-speech uh, may need some setting up before you actually can use it fully. In order to do so, you will need to install a number of voices which are provided free with Windows. There are 35 of these with Windows 10, and as a result, you can actually listen to realistic voices in most of the languages available. One more feature from the application, and this is the start form that the application opens in, and that is you can use it to translate the entire form, all of the captions for the buttons and for any labels can be translated, and you could use this therefore to translate an entire application from one language to another before distributing it to clients. Let me show you how this works. As I said, this is the main form. I've already translated this into Spanish. Let's just translate that back into English. And it takes a couple of seconds to do so. And as you can see now, the same language we started with. Let's try a different one here. Let's try something like this. Again, two or three seconds. And you can see we've now got all of the words that are recognized in the Chinese language, obviously not many data systems for example, can actually be translated there. Let's go back to English again for a second. And you now have a choice with this, you can either choose to not show this in the future and just move straight to the main form which is clicked here. Okay, now then in the main form here I can enter some text. change to another language and I've now got the language there I've got hello world in Arabic it seems hello world okay let's now just put in something slightly better here oops right that error there okay Hello world. It's a beautiful day today. And again, let's change that to a different language, Bulgarian this time. Zdravej svět. Dnes je prekrasen den. And as you can tell, it's a different voice used, which is matched to the language actually shown here. We've got a large number of different languages available and voices available. Pozdrav svete. Danes je lep dan. Hi, Verden. Det er en smuk dag i dag. Now, if I want to, I can actually swap the two sides over here, as you often do in, in Google Translate Online. But it's not necessary because we can actually translate this to a different language anyway. For example, let's choose Esperanto. Now, Esperanto, there isn't a dedicated voice installed with Windows for that. But a reasonable alternative for Esperanto is to actually speak it in Spanish. It may not pronounce everything perfectly, but let's see what it sounds like. Salud al mundo. Estas vela te odia. And that is also true for a number of other languages. For example, here, if we try and use Haitian. Okay. Haitian, Haiti used to be a French colony many years ago, therefore it is based on French. Bonjour monde. Soyons belle jour non jodia. But as I said, there are a huge number of languages which you actually do have the voices for. Ni hao, shi jie. Jin tian shi mei hao de yi tian. Q. 
こんにちは世界。今日は美しい日です。But occasionally, you will find a language that you can't actually get a voice for that's reasonable. That depends on the character set in this case. Myanmar, which is Burm、uh, used to be called Burmese,、right? you cannot manage to speak that one there. Let's take another example here. And that one would be spe speakable, but again, not in Sundanese. Okay, for this one, we're going to use the default language. Now, that will definitely not sound perfect. Halo Dunya. Eta dinten anu endar dinten iu. As you can tell. Now, in terms of the amount of text that you can enter for this, right, you can do far more than the number of characters I've shown here. Typically, we can manage up to 10,000 or so characters, but if I just now quickly change this to a different text sample here, and I'll use one that I've already typed. Right, now then, if we just drag that off the screen here. Okay, now I've used this because it includes quote marks just to show that the program can handle that correctly. Let's put it into Swedish randomly here, into Russian. Russian language uses a different method for quote marks here. Let's now change that to Greek. And、back to English, and if you do repeated translation like this, including a reverse translation, you can get an idea about how well that works. And you may be surprised to know that so far it's actually worked perfectly here. Let's try something else. Oh, we might as well speak this. Opos egrapse o William Shakespeare na ese ina minise, a afto ine to erotima. And obviously. That will read in English there. Let's take a further example now using a much longer sample of text. And this time I've used something which is deliberately, oops, deliberately around about the character limit that I can actually choose. So if I now clear that. Now, as you can see, I'm 9,786 characters. Let's try translating that to Finnish. Slightly more concise in Finnish, and it's worked, it would appear perfectly. Osallistumisrekisterien hallinta koulun data analysaattorissa osallistumisrekisterit. As you can see, I can stop text if I don't wish to hear all of it, which I don't in this particular case. Let's change it to a. Different language here, and you'll see now that that's actually more than 11,830 characters. That's fine because it started off below the limit, but it's actually ended up above the limit. And if I now try to change that French into a different language, you'll find out that it's not possible. Okay, and the only way to do that would be to remove a certain amount of characters from the text there. Okay, I'll show you most of this particular screen.、Uh, oh, I forgot to mention there that I can actually gérer les registres de présence dans l'analyseur de données scolaires. La fonction registre de présence permet aux écoles de remplir les registres de cours de session et dans SDA ou de les importer à partir de Sims. Pour utiliser cette fonctionnalité dans SDA, une licence annuelle. Okay, now one more screen to show you, and that is how we actually do the text to speech. Now, text-to-speech, as I say, unlike Google Translate, you may have to do a certain amount of work for yourself initially. You can see a list of all the installed voices. I've installed just about everything that is available in Windows. There are something like thirty, thirty-five languages that are usable here. Some of these are duplicates here. It is likely when you first set this up, you will find there's only one or two languages available. You will need to install some more from Windows, and I'll tell you about that in a second here. This is a list of all the installed voices for different languages: one for English, one for French, Spanish, etc. Most of the common European languages are there, and certain other ones there. And this allows you to see which ones, as I said, are 35 different voices, all matched to those particular languages. If you want to, you can hear a sample of that. This is Vietnamese. Đây là văn bản mẫu do Michael Joshua nói bằng tiếng Việt. Thai. 
นี่คือตัวอย่างข้อความที่ Microsoft พัฒนาพูดเป็นภาษาไทย Russian Это образец текста, на котором говорит Microsoft Ирина на русском языке. Etc. Where there is no dedicated voice available for language, but there is a reasonable alternative that you can use, then you can actually find these on here. So Basque, you can actually try speaking that in Spanish. I think I showed you that one before. So let's do Corsican, which is part of France. C'est un exemple de texte en Corse parlé par Microsoft Hortense en français. Ok, and so on Portuguese is used as a substitute for Galician. Este é o N exemplo de texto N galego falado por Microsoft e é N português. Now, if you don't particularly want to use some of these, you can choose to disallow the use of alternative voices, and so it will now, in this particular case, would only speak those languages that you actually have dedicated voices installed for. In which case, obviously, there will be a large number which text-to-speech is not available for, 74 in that particular case. But if we change back to this particular setup here, and go through here those are the alternative voices these are the languages another 25 where you could speak it it recognizes the character set but it will obviously then be in your default voice which is in the English in my particular case so for example Albanian and you may not like that in which case you have option in order to actually just ignore those ones there And the languages for which text-to-speech is completely unavailable are the ones which are character sets which Windows actually can't recognize in this context yet, but hopefully in future versions they will add at least some, if not all, of those languages as well. That's about all of the application, except there's one more thing to mention which I forgot to earlier, and that is on the main screen here. If you click the help button, it will open a PDF file which will go through the various different features telling you how to do this and also how to set up text to speech. And I won't go through that now, but to do that, you will need to go into Windows settings. And in Windows settings, you can then add voices from the initial set, which may be just the ones for your own language there adding different voices and then installing those and for that you may need to do a registry fix which is actually included in as in, in terms of explaining it in, in this PDF file. Thank you for watching, I hope you find that useful.